Hello, Pure Earth. My name is Stu Kniebel, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Or squared, depending on how you look at it. I never actually noticed that Mercury goes around like this. It's angled. Never actually noticed that. Maybe it was updated or something? I always thought it was just flat, like the Earth. I love this game so very much. Um, today we're gonna do something. I don't know what, but we are near us 400 stars. Yes. What's in here? A bunch of stars. My goodness. That's 400 stars. Here's our sign, right in the middle. Jeez. You know, from all the way back here, hold on, let me get there, it looks, it looks very small, but once I do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, everything becomes huge. And it's just incredible. It's it's amazing how big the universe is. Like that, it's so the sun becomes so small, and it's not gonna get any smaller because if it does, you won't be able to see it. And it's just incredible how that. I love space so very much. Ah. Oop. I have killed the Earth twice. I wonder what that was this. Supernova close up in real time. Bra. It's like an eyeball. <gasps> Every time. <coughs> Stupid badgers. Every time you close your eyes, this is what happens. A supernova inside your eyeball, your um, cornea, your retina, your that the the glowy part of your eyeball goes and becomes nothing because of all of the colorfulness around of your eye. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is in real time. Hello, son. How's it going? You dying? Yes. Yes, you are. Go faster. Uh oh, the computer's dying. Oh, it's blue now. This is awesome. Yeah, my computer does not like this. It's gonna have a heart attack. You can probably hear it. It's like a train. Whoa. This is incredible. Eh. It always feels like whenever you zoom out, you don't. Because this is always growing more. It feels like you're being pulled in, but you're not. It's crazy. Space is cool, man. Space is cool. Earth between suns? Okay. Ah, uh, whoa. That is far away. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Oh my goodness. Look, look at the night cycle. It's nothing. It's just a straight line. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Nighttime is nothing. Good night. 
Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> but it's double night too. It's, it's losing its water as well. I don't know. It's neat. It's weird how it like turns a little gray. Right there. Or is that just how it is? Or is it my shadow? Well, that's weird. <laughs> good night. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. We make it real time. Seconds. One. It's super slow. But. Go one minute. One minute a second. That's just like ten minutes of sleep. That's crazy. Many stars. Whoa. So the sun orbiting this, while Wolf is orbiting the sun. That's cool. Serious? I'm not serious. You're serious. Just a big ball of brightness right there. There's a moon, too. There's a moon look. Oh my, it got really close there. <laughs> oh no, it got hit with something. That's not good. Go faster. Well, we lost, we lost, um, Wolfie. He, uh, he's not coming back. He's, yeah, he's, he's off doing whatever he wants. Yeah, he's, oh wait, no, he might come back. Uh, no, he's, he's, he's out. He's done. Oh my. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. What happened? Oh, hello, wolf. You came back. Ooh. <laughs> That's so pretty. Even though it's probably going to destroy the whole universe. Look at that. It's purple and pink and blue on the inside. That's awesome. And you just have them going off. Because there's no gravity anymore. That was cool. <laughs> Test longitude of parapetrif. Alright. What the heck? What? That looks weird. I don't know what that is. There's an X and a Y and a Z. Interesting. Don't know what that's doing, but it's doing something. You can just take a look at Venus. You can do whatever you want to it. Like, I want to put the Earth in it. What? 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 <laughs> just. Okay. <laughs> Remember, kids, to move the Earth, put a bunch of Venuses behind it. This is moving fast now. Whoa. <laughs> How fast is this going? Uh, where's the velocity? 46 kilometers per second. That's really fast. I mean, it might not be, but hey. It's still quick. It's per second. This is why this game is wonderful. Whoa, what the heck? How did that happen? I don't know, but this thing is red. Well, not red. It's blue. It's blue hot. It's like a glacier. It's That's beautiful. Who knew destruction could be so beautiful? I love this game. 
<laughs> oh. Wonderful. Tap is one. Oh yeah, it's that new thing that NASA has, has discovered. Where these planets are apparently habitable. Even though it's negative 75.9 degrees Celsius. <laughs> stop. Everyone, stop. Let me. Whoops. Whoop. Uh oh. You. Are you habitable? You're 10 degrees Celsius. You're the most habitable out of. And you're on the red part. Also, you're all blue. And you might be. That's negative 24. That's negative 58. 62. 119. <laughs> That's cool, though. Atmosphere. Oh. Greenhouse effect. Maybe we don't know much about these places, but one day we may be able to get in here and go and see what we can do there. Before 2017, that was very little. Very little of anything. Whoa! Solar flares. It's cool. This is why this game is awesome, because it's just, it's just, just, yeah, j there's no word, no word can describe the wonderfulness of this. Remember when this was a thing? Woofy, woofy, woof. Four Earths. Fifteen degrees. Celsius, that is. You can't change it to Fahrenheit, because if you do, well then, there's going to be a big dice swarm. Yeah, it's gonna be a giant dice swarm. What the heck? Uh oh, dice 51. Which one's gonna be the biggest? Please your brights down in the comments below. You don't have to. You don't. If, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm gonna say 42, because that's the meaning of life. And 42 will win, because you know why? Because it will. It's not gonna win. Yeah. It's. 42 is gone. It's been gone a long time ago. 56 is gigantic. So is 60, though. Ooh, what? Two, 56 is 271, and this is 243. I wonder what will happen if they touch. <gasps> Ooh, they're combining. And 2 and 56. 1. 56 is not a new leader, and we must obey to him, or we will all die in a horrific death of Dysonese. So we can get diced up and thrown into a salad. Planet combustion triangle. What? Oh my! Well, that's weird to look at. <laughs> it's cool though. I want to add Earth just inside one of these guys. Like you. Nothing happens because it's all still. It's not going to do anything. Earth next to sun climate test. Oh, like, where is it most habitable? Well, this one just is just. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That Thanks, brain, for a thing of words to say. You're not, you're not so good at that today, now, are you? That one's on fire. This one over here. Bloom. That's on fire. That's the sun. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's moving so fast. Grab it. Good. This one is probably the most habitable at this point. Even though it is kind of dying from loss of water, but and this one is actual earth, right? I mean, probably. But I don't, I don't exactly know. It's 45. Jeez. It's really hot. 1 AU. Or is that actual earth? This one's probably actual earth. Because it's 15.6. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> 
Where's the <coughs> Where's the thing of <coughs> Ah Yeah there it is Orbital period There it is There's five days So that's actual Earth 1 AU Annual unit Aerial unit Arbitrarial Unification No collisions there's collisions. There's not the right ones. <laughs> That's cool though. The frame rate doesn't like it though. It's not really working. It says no collisions, but there certainly are collisions. Let's get out of here before. Death. Actually, the frame rate is fine. Is fine? Yes. It's like Friday night and it being all right. It's fine, just a simulation can't cope with it. Because it was probably done before the update with all like the fragments and things like that. <clears throat> Earth at 5,000 degrees Celsius. It's burning up. I wonder what else would be here. <gasps> I don't know. Earth and an early moon. plane just flew by my window and it was like really loud it wasn't like really loud it was really loud okay that doesn't sound like an airplane anymore it sounds like someone scraping snow or ice snow off of concrete or something like that Eh, oh well. But this is apparently what happened to the moon if it was this close. Or Earth and an early moon. Interesting. Science. Saturn and Neptune. The rings. No, give me the rings. Yeah, this is what the image on the thing shows us. This game is cool. This um, simulation is, there's a picture of it on the Steam page. That's what I meant to say. But my brain didn't want to say that because of reasons. This is cool though. I like how they're angled different. Like this one is like this. This one is like this. Completely different. And it's weird. It's like, how does that even happen? It's just like physics, man. Physics, that's what happens. It's so close, but yet so far away. It's awesome. Also, where is this light coming from? There's no sun over there. Uh-oh. Uh, what is this? Neptune, yes. It's, I, I love how... I love the colors of Neptune when it starts burning up. The blue and orange, just... It looks so nice. And it's just like you want to hug it. Well, now it looks like pink. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful. Did I mention it was wonderful? I guess over here it starts doing that, but not over here for some reason. It's like just that part. <laughs> it's like, I can't cope with the hotness of Saturn anymore. I don't, I don't understand myself sometimes. Oh no, it's getting scarred. Simba must have gotten to him. Wait, Simba was the youngin. Yes, that's right. I said youngin. <laughs> what, what was his dad's name? Mufasa. There we go. Whew, my childhood. Thanks. <laughs> um, what should I end this off with? Earth and moon. Just a normal old Earth and a normal old moon. All right. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, great. If not, wonderful. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!